back in the studio with Mary Warnoff and Richard Blackburn. Now, you're telling me that there's a comic book. There's yes. a comic book, right. In fact, we should have that in a couple of days. Uh, it's drawn by Kim Deitch. Who oh, is, I love uh, him. Yeah, you I know, know it. Kim oh, Deitch's stuff? Right, so he is the main artist on this, and uh, it's basically the, the, the movie. The story of the movie. Right. Oh, how wonderful. Just done in his style. And Kim Deitch, strangely enough, looks like a thinner version of Paul Bartel, yes, so it's does, very yeah. easy for him to draw the Paul character. Right. So <laughs> both of us look like Paul Bartel. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. I hope you know, that everybody loves this as much as we are. And I, I, unfortunately, I don't have anything more embarrassing <laughs> to tell me from my past. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good enough. That's it. I've used up all the embarrassment. And I would like to wish you well and hope Thank for you. the future that you get bigger and bigger. And don't forget me so that when you come back next How time. How could I forget you? <laughs> in a bigger and yet even more wonderful movie. How could that be? But you'll come on again. Well, we do have a York. sequel plan. To do they? That yes. is Paul and Mary go to Washington. Yes. Oh. Right. That's wonderful. So this could be. This could be like Mon Pa Kettle. Yeah, now, this could I be very, wondered, very big. When people in the movies have the same name as their character, is that. F why do they do that? We did it because we wanted. We were pre cast. And yes. it was just easier I mean, to, knew, to, to write when I was writing Paul was. and Mary, knowing that they were Paul and Mary. I, I always thought it was because they were afraid that the actor or actress would say the other person's real name. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, not in this case. Not in this case. The only other person we had a pre-cast was the real Don Steele, who plays the uh, swinger uh, host at the end of the uh, movie. Uh -huh. And uh, he's a radio personality out of Los Angeles. Uh -huh. He used to talk faster than any DJ ever, including B. Mitchell Reed. Or B. Mitchell Reed talked maybe a little fast. They were like uh, neck and neck. Unfortunately, we don't have time to really discuss L.A. life. And I know that's something we did want to talk about. Too bad. But yes. you did say that in New York, you ask people about uh, their apartments, but in L.A. You ask them about their cars. That's and right. And you're in very New York, proud. You date, right? In L.A. you cruise. Right. That's right. And you have what? Trans Am. A Trans Am. What right. color? Mm, it's so great. It's black. Oh. It's, it's wonderful. And I have an Opal GT and it's a lemon what? yellow. An Opal GT is very sharp. It's a poor man's Corvette. It is not a disgusting car. <laughs> Don't have to talk to me. Okay, <laughs> let's go to that last clip. And oh. Last oh, yeah, the last clip. This is like. With Raul, uh, who's played by Robert Beltram, and he makes a triangle uh, out of the whole movie with Paul and Mary. Right. He's the love interest. Right. He right. Falls very cute. cute. And in this clip, you're going so. to see the gag in this clip was totally accidental, and it was a trick of cutting that achieves the gag. It was not planned that way. Okay. Now we're going to that clip and as soon as they tell us we will. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you believe in the sixth sense? I think I'll give you over a dollar. No, 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 no. The sixth sense. Some blind people have it. I have it. May I sit down? Yeah. Go ahead. You have been very wicked and you are in terrible danger. So is everybody who eats here. <laughs> you have been earning money from an evil undertaking. And if you keep it up, you will burn for all eternity in hell. Hey, sister, I'm in hell right now. That money is going to help get me out. You were explaining something about it. Yeah, the oh. fact that the nun uh, the sitting down, she just sat out of frame in one take. Well, we found out that we needed a gag at that point, so all we did was add the sound effect, and it appears to be that she's falling, but it was not planned. Do you use a it. formula? No. Millions of people. Yeah. <laughs> Do you use a formula, like you have to have a gag every eight minutes? Or well, no, we did that by screening. We realized when you had to, had to put it in. You know, I'm when sort of joking there, Richard. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm what sorry. you mean, but I mean, we also did that, a lot of screening to find out, because we got very nervous when the audience was quiet, because in a comedy, you know right. if it's not working. Right. So we try to put in as many as possible. No, God forbid we should right. all God get... God forbid. Right. You should get married, I should get married, live in little God houses forbid. like our parents did. <laughs> oh. I mean, would it ever happen that our families would go out together on boats and crazy things like that? I mean, like in our past? No, uh, I don't think I'm going to... We can't there. relive it, can we? No, no, no. Well, first of all, I mean, you remember the house I lived in. Yeah, it was nicer than mine. I lived in an apartment. You had a house, a boat. That's right. Matter of fact, you were rich. And a tennis court. 
And a tennis court. I hate you. <laughs> well, this is uh, I, rich and you know, famous I here. God, she was rich. Yeah. But I'm not anymore. So <laughs> good. <laughs> I, I have food stamps. If you need any, just see me after the show. Uh, <laughs> but it's hard for me to imagine even living in a similar house or half the amount of money. I mean, I, it's forget it. I can't relive what I did as a kid. No, it's not possible. My lifestyle is very different from my parents. Yes, as is everybody's. Mm -hmm. I yes. think. but you get to have the fantasy, fun of playing it on the screen, yes. the attitudes. Yes. Well, is your mom proud of you? Yes, yeah, she's very proud. That's good. And uh, well, she's more proud of the fact that I'm a painter rather than a really film star. Yeah, she's not too pleased with film. You know, it's. Was she embarrassed by some of the things you've done in the past? My mother, uh, whatever I do, I'm an artist. So when I did Chelsea Girls, my mother said, that's fine, it's art, you know. And meanwhile, <laughs> Time Magazine was calling me a sadistic lesbian. And <laughs> she said, that's all right, you're an artist. She's very strange that way. Yeah. I know that our parents went out on the boat. My father was such a bad yachtsman, I believe is the term. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was terrible. They'd go out by boat and they'd come back by cab. Yeah, because like he ruined the boat. Right, right. He'd always wreck it or run it up into a rock. Or, or he'd get blasted or something on the also. boat? Oh, yeah, they'd get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You know, so my relatives, though. Goody, goody parents go out on the boat, you know, <laughs> 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 it was a real hard show. Well, a lot of times what we used to do was take the opportunity to steal the car while they were in the boat. That's how I learned to drive. And that's why they had to come back by cab, because they couldn't find the car. No, no, that, no, that's not true. But right. often they'd come back and the car would be ruined itself. So it would be like a, a two-vehicle day of Then we'd spend the disaster. rest of the night smashing all the windows in the house. <laughs> Well, we had a lot of fun as kids. We were <laughs> yeah, let's wind this up. <laughs> Mary was very athletic and, and sort of a tomboy. And now Vincent Camby is calling you sexy. I was always sexy. You just didn't notice. A sexy tomboy is not, you know, no, mutually exclusive. Sexy and tomboy. Oh, sure I did, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just about through here, so I would like to thank you very much for coming. Thank and you. And I know that this is a big success for both of you. And uh, thank you very much for coming. And I hope we can kind of hang out in our private lives more oh, sure. often. And is that it? That's it. Thank Good you enough. very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.